Hi guys, hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be doing this tutorial using the new Naked Smoky palette. I bought it for myself because I thought a lot of you guys probably want to buy it too and I think if I show you a look using it, it may make you want to get it or not want to get it. I think it's a really good palette. I think all the Urban Decay Naked palettes are amazing um, and this one is no exception. It has 12 shades in which are all perfect for all different types of smoky eyes. There's loads of options here, but I've gone with this look. I really hope you like it, and if you do, then please keep watching. As you can see, I've already got my foundation, brows, and concealer on, but now I'm gonna be using the Rodile Instaglam Compact Deluxe Contouring Powder to contour my face. Uh, this is in shade 03. I'm using the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlighter. This is beautiful and it's so glowy. I'm just obsessed with it right now. And I'm putting that on the higher parts of my face, like the cheekbones, um, a bit down the bridge of the nose, the forehead, the cupid's bow and the chin. blush I'm using the Too Faced Love Blush in Love Hangover. The packaging is so cute, it looks like Polly Pocket. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop that onto the cheeks and then I go back towards my hairline. Going back in with that Rodile um, contouring powder, I'm now going to put that into the upper crease of my eye. Just This will be our transition shade and I'm using the E40 brush to do that. And just blend that in until you're happy with the depth of colour. Now going in with the Naked palette, the Smoky palette. Woo I look a bit obsessed. I'm now going, in, going to go in with the shade Whiskey, which is that dark brown there. And I'm going to use an E25 brush to do this. And I'm going to pop that into the crease. And I'm putting my brush kind of upside down, kind of creating a slight cut crease. Um, just because you can really see the crease there. Um, then I turn it back over and I, well, there's less product on and I blend some more. further blending to get rid of any harsh lines I'm using that E40 brush with no product on it and just keep blending and blending as always then I decided to put some of that contour and powder on the brush and blend upwards again just to blend that transition shade in a little bit more now I'm gonna go in with radar which is this kind of browny bronzy color and um, it's quite shimmery and I'm just going to pop that onto the base of the lid, but I'm not going to go all the way across my lid. I'm only going to go up to there. So kind of three quarters, quarters of the way in. Now going in with High, which is the lightest shimmery shade in the palette. And I'm going to pop that on the area where we haven't put any shadow. So bring in it, put it on that part of the eyelid and bring it down to the inner corner. And for the actual inner corner, I'm now putting on Champagne Pop, because look how that pops, that just looks incredible. Later on I put that on the brow bone too. On the outer corner, I'm just putting some more whiskey just to deepen that outer V, and I just run that through the crease a little bit more, and just touch up what I've already done. And then I'm going to put Radar in the middle again, just to emphasise that shade. I'm now running whiskey on the lower lash line, but I'm putting the majority of it on the outer corner, so it's darkest at the outer corner. Then I use whatever's left on the brush and bring it in towards my inner corner. This is on a pencil brush, by the way. 
Now using Boot Black from MAC, I'm going to create a wing. And this was brand new, so it's a little bit too wet at the moment, which sucked, but this is like one of my favourite uh, liquid eyeliners, definitely. Now I'm cheating on Roller Lash with Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I need to get a full size of this because it is so good, especially for the top lashes because it's quite a big brush. And I do my top and bottom lashes. Now running Smolder from MAC through the waterline just to make it a bit more smoky. You can use any black eyeliner obviously. Now we're going in with Too Faced Perfect Lips Nude Lip Liner. I'm going to line my lips and then uh, draw in the outer corners and just leave the centre bare. To complete the look I'm using How Tropical from MAC, it's a gorgeous nude lipstick. And that is the final look guys, I really really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.